Hi guys, it's Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts here today and I am revisiting a past flavor of the month kit. I worked on the September 2018 kit, which was Happy Fall, y'all. This month I am trying to focus on fall projects and so I decided to pull out a fall kit and have some fun. So the collections in this kit, I will insert a picture here, but the collections, there's Let's Talk Bees is collection one by Scrapping for Less. Fall Breeze by Photo Play is collection number two. Stay a While by Bow Bunny is collection number three. And then Amber Moon by Prima is collection number four. And then again, the kit came with some cardstock, some colored cardstock, white cardstock, and then, <clears throat> I also got the banana split level, which came with a distress crayon, some watercolor sheets, a leaf die, and a small stamp set. So let's get into what I made. I started with a mini album. So this measures about five and a half by five and a half. And I actually used, these are some craft envelopes that I found at Hobby Lobby. It was like a pack of 12 for 99 cents, I think. And I, they're nice, sturdy envelopes. And so I use them to make, I don't send a lot of square cards. So I use them to make mini albums. And so I just glued the envelopes together with the flaps to create this album. And it's a fairly thin album. And so I didn't, I left a little bit of a gusset here on the envelopes when I like folded the last flap over. So I did not add any special binding. But I used two collections for this one. I used the Fall Breeze and Stay A While collections. The colors coordinated fairly well. Um, and so I just decided to go ahead and use them together to create a, a mini album. And there are four envelopes here. And so there's eight pages. So on the front cover here, I just took, there's a, like a burnt dark orange cardstock layer that I put underneath this blue pattern paper. Blessings, this was one of the cut aparts. And then I just took another scrap of the of leaf paper to put behind the cut apart. And everything, I inked everything in the walnut stain, distress ink. I think this one I used. And then these flowers also came in one of the collections. And so I, there was a, a yellow like stamen or center in these and <clears throat> excuse me, they poked through and there was like a little bit of the two poking through on the back. So like almost as if you would have popped it off of a, a fake flower stem, you know, like had that little connector that holds it on. So I pulled out those and then just so it would they, the flowers would lay flat and then just added some orange brads from my stash and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I distressed the flowers as well just to kind of give them more of a vintage look. So on the inside, the first page, there's just a pocket and it's not gusset or there's a little bit of a gusset to the pocket and then took two of the cut aparts from one of the papers and then added with some of the cardstock scraps I had left, I just made a tag and then I have a little white booklet here for additional pictures. And then I used the acorn stamp from the Grateful Stamp Set, stamped it on some white with two different colors of brown and then fussy cut it out. And then these two leaves are from the leaf die. So here I just used this cute fox paper and then added this plaid to coordinate with the page over here. And you can see the fox here coordinates with the fox there. Did some more of the leaves from the die, used the die to cut a couple more leaves. And then this twine also came in the one of the collections. And so I just tied a little bow like it was holding those two leaves together. So I, the two inner envelopes, I actually sliced off the end to create a pocket just so we could have some additional photo mat space. This one, I just added a scrap of the paper down here and another one of those stamped acorns. And then this was a scrap. And then this was a, another stamp that I had in my stash, but it's just a little coffee cup. I wanted something small that coordinated with the coffee cups in the paper. Just really simple since these are sliding in and out. 
So this one there, I just took the coffee paper as my background. I have a little like flip booklet here. It just flips up. And then there is a tag, like a hidden tag back here that I just stamped an acorn on from one of the stamp sets. I think it was the Teresa Talks Fall stamp set. Um, that slides there. And then I have um, two little scraps that I put behind my little photo mat here that coordinate with the page over here. So this one was just one of the papers, one of the pattern papers in the collections. And then created a border down here using what was left of the coffee paper and then some of the navy paper and then backed it on white to help it stand out from like that darker brown. And then this stamp was I also in the the Teresa Talks Fall stamp set. And so I just colored it up and then kind of fussy cut around it to add a little bit of embellishment on this page. So on the inside here, we have another little booklet. Just used up some of the scraps that I had. This was one of the ephemera pieces in one of the collections and I just put it on a little piece of cardstock and created a little pocket on that one. And then there's another one of those stamped acorns. So this one I use this cute pumpkin with the fox paper. And then you can't, I don't know if you can see it very well. If it's gonna show up with my lighting. But I took one of the craft tags and then stamped like a really faint pumpkin on it. I wanted you to, I wanted there to be able, I wanted this to be solid enough that somebody could journal on it, but then like there's that faint image, almost like a watermark type image of a pumpkin. But my lighting is off today, so I'm not sure that that's going to show up. But, and then I just inked it and then tied some of the twine through there and then used some of the scraps, I think from the back side, it's the back side of one of the papers that has the dark orange pumpkins. And then over here, I just used this polka dot paper as my background and then, whoa, I never glued him down. We'll have to, let's do that real quick. This is just another one of the Scarecrow Ephemera. And actually, I think he hangs over. Um, that was in one of the collections. And so you can see here, I just took two strips that I had left and they're both from like the tear strip. But I knew that my scarecrow was going to cover up those holes here. So <clears throat> he is just kind of my, my main embellishment on this page. But then here I have two more cut aparts, another tag from scrap cardstock. And then this time there's like a little brown booklet. And then the back page, it's just plain pattern paper since it's back on the back side, I didn't want to put a whole lot. So that was my first project and that used up the bulk of those two collections. So next I worked on the collection number one, which was the Let's Talk Bees. And so I made a cute little notebook and then this, there was some circle ephemera in this collection and this one says, be happy. And I just backed it like there's white cardstock and then I used the back side of one of the pattern papers that has like a solid black to make a scallop circle. And then just added this little beehive pattern and then the, the stripes on the back. And then I also did a simple little three inch post-it note holder. Again, used one of the B ephemeras, a white circle layer. And then this time I used the back side. It was a gray on the back side. So I used that beehive again and the stripes. And then this is a gray piece. And then I did it. I used some 110 pound black cardstock for my holder base. And I don't know if I mentioned it, this is just one of the Dollar Tree composition notebooks that comes like three in a pack. So I also used the stamp that came in this collection and I think it was like Mimi, oh Marcy, Bumblebee Marcy. And so I colored her up and I just put her on like a white cardstock piece and I also stamped the cute as can be that came with that stamp set. And then it just kind of used that as a journal card. So these are fairly simple. Um, most of the time was actually spent coloring. So I just took one of the yellow patterns and then 
the back side of there, I don't remember which pattern it was, had the solid black. And so I just did a strip down here um, on all of them. They're all pretty similar except for the yellow pattern differs. And then I added three sequins, three black sequins. This was the first one I did and I colored her up with some Copics and my markers, like they bled a little bit. And so I wasn't overly happy with how that came out. So I decided to go with the colored pencils on the other two. So then I took my scraps that I had left and just took the longest strip that I had over here on the left. And then I had some of these patterns, pieces that were all like the same width. And so I just kind of, or they were the same length. So I just kind of cut them down to similar widths. And then on the bottom here, since this was totally solid, I added a stamp that just says special thanks. And then from some of the scraps I had left, I punched out some tiny little circles just to give something over here on the left-hand side. And then another card from scraps, this one, I took the kind of the honeycomb paper. I had a longer strip of it and then the black polka dot. And then I had one little square of the beehive paper left and then one piece of ephemera. It says cute as can be. And again, it's just labeled up, layered up on some white and black cardstock layers. So that was the bee collection. So the last collection I had left was the Amber Moon by Prima. And I actually had a few cut aparts left. I had a few sheets of the 12 by 12 of this collection at one point, and I remembered I had a few cut aparts left. So I pulled those out to try and use those up as well. But I did use some sketches on this collection, and this one is Freshly Made Sketches number 122. And this was one of the three by four cut aparts that I had left uh, in my stash already. So I just inked on this one, these are all on craft card bases, and I just inked this one with like a gray ink. I don't know why, for some reason, the colors just made me, I think it was the, like the darker color with these orange po polka dots. It's like a lighter black. <clears throat> so I just went with gray. Anyway. I inked all of my layer pieces. This is like the back side of one of the patterns in this collection. And then I trimmed my cut apart down to be three by three, I believe. And then I stamped this grateful from the banana split level stamp set that I got. And this is on the back, uh, back side of one of the patterns as well. This is Paper Play Sketches number 21. And I actually turned it horizontal. These were some of the, there was a couple, there were a couple sheets of cut aparts with this collection. And so I only used a few of them and I just took three of them. One is kind of like the main sentiment. And then the other two are just kind of for decoration. This says it's pumpkin season. And then I, there's a strip of pattern paper back behind these three images and then use the polka dot, orange and black polka dot. And then I did add three little craft punched circles down at the bottom. This sketch is just by Robin's Craft Room. All the sketches will be linked in the description box below so you can find them. And I did several of these. The Happy Fall Y'all was in the Teresa Talks Fall stamp set, and so I just kind of made that my focal image for all of these. I did end up pulling in some like light, light orange cardstock <clears throat> from my stash. And it goes well with a couple of the patterns. Like it, I feel it goes well with this. I don't know how well it went. I guess it does kind of go with that too, but it was kind of plain. And so I did add like a little scrap cardstock with a banner up here, but I, it's hard to tell, but I did do a really small layer. There's like a really thin mat of an off-white cardstock behind the, uh, the light orange peach, whatever you want to call it. And I, these are all inked again in the dark walnut. This one, same thing. I just used a craft cardstock for my stamped message here and then used the black polka dot. And then this one, I used two different pattern papers and I kind of like it better. There's just a little bit more interest. 
And then the last three cards, I was just trying to use up the scraps. So this was, I had one like full card mat size piece left. So I did use that and everything is inked again. And then I used another one of those little cut aparts as my sentiment here, which says give thanks, layered some of the strips and just kind of put everything together on the left side there. Here I took two strips that I had and grouped them together to make a card mat, tied them together with the strip going across the top middle up here and then that happy fall y'all sentiment again. And this is one where I just took, I had a bunch of strips. A lot of them were the tear strips from the top and then some of them were just some strip scraps that I had left. And so I took a piece of white cardstock cut it down, I believe it's four by five and a quarter, just covered it with ATG so that most of it was covered, especially all the edges, and then just started laying the strips down. There are a couple that are two different strips that kind of meet in the middle here, and so I just covered that up. I That's where I put my sentiment, which is that grateful sentiment from the grateful stamp set, and then the last two leaf die cuts that I had. So then I did have a few more scraps left and so I just made some like little mini note cards, kind of like lunchbox notes for my girls. And this is, they're kind of random sizes because I was just trying to use up what I had left. So I did have some scraps left from that um, Let's Talk Bees set or collection and so I made a little tag just using some of the scraps and then I did have I had this sentiment in my stash it says you are my sunshine so that just kind of used up that and then back to the fallish ones I just took oh these are the last two leaf die cuts I had and it just kind of grouped some of the patterns together this one I made a kind of a card mat using a bunch of the strips, the smaller strips that were left. I just kind of lined them up and then trimmed the white. I put them on white cardstock and then trimmed it down, left a little bit of a border around it. And then also there's a brown mat behind that. This is another one of the acorns that I stamped and then just wrote hi on there. And then I outlined the acorn in my brown marker that I wrote hi with just to help it stand out. And then it's on another little strip of wood grain pattern paper. And then my last one, I took a, this was a test stamp I had done to test the color to see if I had wanted to use it on the acorns. And I just turned it into a tag and then took one of the little bitty scraps that I had and folded it over to make almost like a little ribbon at the top of the tag and glued it on. And then this, there's two scraps glued, kind of glued on the card front and then I've covered the seam with another piece of the wood grain. So I ended up getting the mini album, the two notebooks. Oh, there's one thing I didn't show you. This was the last piece of the ephemera I had left and I love sunflowers. And so I decided to take him and turn him into a little piece of fall decoration for myself or even late summer decoration. And so I just took some Mod Podge and then this is a little block made out of two by four that I had on hand. And I just took Mod Podge and essentially decoupaged him onto the block. And so now I can set him around just as a cute little decoration, maybe in my tear tray or something like that. So, cause I love sunflowers. So I wanted to use him, keep him out so that I can enjoy him. So I got the two notepads, the block, three mini cards plus a tag, and then I ended up getting 13 A2 size cards. So this was fun. I enjoyed playing with the fall kit. And since I'm trying to get some fall items made up ready for September and October. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and got some inspiration if you have this kit left. And as far as what I have left from the kit, I have all of the stamp sets. I didn't use many of the sequins. I have a few of those craft circle tags. My leaf die. There were some little leaf charms that I didn't use. And then the distress stress crayon. And then the watercolor paper. I didn't use that. That's in there too. And then these were the scraps that I had left that I didn't end up using. 
this one I didn't find until later. Otherwise, I totally would have used that. So, but anyway, hopefully you guys got some inspiration and ideas. Again, I will link the card sketches that I use in the description box below, but I hope you're all having a crafty day and I hope to see you again soon.